Closing arguments in the case of a woman accused of leading four men to their deaths has concluded. Yeah, it's been a trial filled with some horrific evidence and testimony. News 12's crime reporter uh, Krista McNally has been in the courtroom throughout the day, and she has the latest for us right now. Krista. Good evening, that's right, it has been two and a half weeks of Lenez Escobar's trial, and now closing arguments are complete. Escobar, also known as Diablita, or Little Devil, is accused of luring four young men into the woods inside a central Islip park, where they were allegedly brutally murdered by MS-13 gang members in 2017. Today, the prosecution called Escobar a cold-blooded killer and an MS-13 associate, while the defense argued that none of the charges were proven beyond a reasonable doubt. The prosecution stated Escobar, along with Kaylee Gomez, allegedly were the bait to get five young men into the park. The young men were met by the MS-13 gang members in the woods and one got away. Escobar allegedly stood by and watched as the four others were brutally murdered. One of the testimonies given during this trial alleged that one of the victims, Michael Lopez Benega, reached out to Escobar for help just before he was murdered. And Escobar allegedly smiled and licked his blood off of her lips that also splattered on her shirt, which she later tried to dispose of. The defense claims that she was not in the MS-13 gang and her status with the gang came from her high-ranking boyfriend. They say she was afraid of the gang and needed her boyfriend for protection. They also argued the witnesses in this case were not reliable. The jury should not rely on the witnesses that the government put forward, meaning these cooperating witnesses. Escobar pled not guilty to the charges she is facing and her cousin was in court today to support her. She was a young girl who had a difficult life. And a lot of times people, when they don't have that disability, you know, they don't have that person they can count on, have, not having a father, not having a mother, being ab abused physically, mentally, have, you know, things that could hurt in that person. But we know that God is with her. Escobar's fate is now in the hands of the jury. At Federal Court in Central Islip, Krista McNally, News 12, Long Island.